Good morning, cultists. Welcome to another uh, Monarch's Journey stream. Last week, we finished off all of uh, King Louis the Stammerer's challenges, which was actually pretty cool. So this week, I think we'll start with Queen Sajar Aldur. So I think they recently added, let's see, King Harold IV, um, who appears to be Nordic, but is unfortunately Catholic. Ah. Uh, it's really hoping that they would add a pagan uh, ruler to this, but so far, no dice. But I am looking forward to this as well. All right, so let's see. Queen Sajar Aldur. Um, hieroglyphics. We need 80 dynasty members. I don't know if we're going to be able, able to get this done in this stream. So if I can't actually manage to squeeze out 80 dynasty members, then I will probably just do this off camera. Tutan Kadum, so we need to get some murders and we need to get some uh, queen titles, so shouldn't be too too difficult. Though I'm sure certain challenges will need to be done in our lifetime, so I guess that could be somewhat difficult, but um, all right, let's get this started. So rules wise, we'll probably just go with whatever we had before. I don't know if there needs to be any changes. Actually, if we're making Dynasty members, then we might want to turn on AI Seduction. Because if there's one thing I know about the AI, they love seducing people. Uh, where is it? There we go. AI Seduction? On. Fantastic. Yeah, they love that porkin. What can I say? Mm, otherwise, I think everything else will be pretty much the same as before. Yes. Let's do this. Bronze Man... Sajar, Egypt. Mm, bronze woman. Queen of Egypt. There we go. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a lot of uh, dynasty members already set up. And we can just get them uh, wives and um, husbands and whatnot. And uh, get them pumping up baby that, babies that way. Alright, so let's firstly take a look at our challenges here. Uh, hieroglyphics. Make sure your bloodline lives on by expanding your dynasty to at least a size of 80 members. There's only two people in our dynasty? Really? Wow. That's terrible. Tutankhadum. Kill out as many landed characters of other dynasties as possible. Okay. And this needs to be done in our lifetime. Gotcha. And don't stop me now. So, progress continues for as long as you play as a female character of the featured ruler's dynasty. As a... Sunni ruler? Wow. That can't be easy. I wonder, then, if we can actually switch our religion. Ooh. Okay, so our husband is this guy. And we are of the House Bari. He's my kinsman. How is he related to me, exactly? So I guess we could, if I really wanted to, change my religion, but that might be... That might be suicidal. Yeah, considering how we're kind of neighboring um, all these dudes who would most likely rip my throat out if I switch my religion. Early stream today? Um, well, I mean, it's the originally intended uh, stream time for most of my streams. I, you know... My intention is always to stream at like 8 a.m. in the morning, but um, I often <laughs> wake up kind of late, so that's kind of the issue. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Do we want to switch our religion? Because otherwise, I don't think I can land female characters, can I? No. Not unless we somehow get the status of women to full. Hmm. All right, well, uh, this could be interesting. So we could try to just get all the kingdom titles that we need in our lifetime. She is 35 years old, so... So the women inherit. I don't know if that works that way. When I did this, I temporarily switched so I could uh, matrilineally marry and switch back. Oh, I see. Oh, right, because it's a regular marriage right now. Yeah, that won't do at all. Absolutely not. Okay, um, then let's see. Where's our capital right now? It's in Cairo. 
And we are well over our domain limit. Uh-oh. Um, hmm. And are there any religious sites here? We could become Zunist. <laughs> that could be interesting. That could be very interesting. Hmm. Actually. How do we do that? How do we do that? Uh... I think we might need to take that temple for ourselves to be able to, um, flip my religion over to Zunist. Even if this is a, uh, holy site. Hmm. Otherwise, I suppose I could... Let's see. If I take Jerusalem, I should be able to switch my religion over here, too. What religions do you have in your domain counties? In my domain counties, I have... Let's see. Myophysite. So I could switch over to Myophysite temporarily, and then, um... Uh, get a matrilineal marriage, and then flip back. Okay. I see, I see. Then I think we're gonna have to move our capital, don't we? Let's see here. Let's see. Ooh, my husband owns Alexandria. Oh, I see. I see, husband. Who's this guy? A child with another woman? I don't think so, chump. Okay, so let's do this. Let's switch our uh, capital over to Ikim, or whatever this place is called. Uh, and then we should be able to switch it back to Cairo. No need to move the capital. Right click. Oh, the coat of arms. Oh, wait. Oh, right. We need the uh, piety. Right, of course. Okay, so which places do we want to hold on to? Cairo is obviously a good choice. Damiette is pretty good. I would like to hold on to Alexandria. Um, meaning that we might need to get our husband murderated in some way. Hmm. All right. Maybe we can get him to betray me. Yes. Yes, indeedy. All right. Um, so I think we're going to need to switch our focus over to... What's it? Um, bureaucratic or whatever. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, what else do I need to do? Not seduction focus right now, but theology focus. Thank you. And then we can get some piety. And uh, try to arrange for an accident for a little husbando. Let's fire him from stewardship. Because I don't think he's going to be our... What is this? Excuse me? Wow. These guys are not nice to me, are they? Alright, fine. Um, I'll go with this guy, obviously. Have him uh, collecting taxes in Cairo for the time being until we can switch our thing over to somewhere else, and we might need to get ourselves a new marshal, too. Um... They're not great. I see a genius, man. <laughs> I think he would make a an excellent husband. Um... But we also might need to change our... Uh, what's it? Spymaster, too. Yeah, everyone hates us. I go for the seduction focus when you're playing as a female ruler for the opinion bonuses with your vassals. Yes, um, but right now we kind of need to, uh, what's it, switch our, our religion over before we get pregnant and uh, start pumping out a Bakid babies, which is obviously a big no-no. Um, we could get another kingdom uh, title right off the bat too, Al Jazeera. Otherwise, I think our next target or our first target will most likely be... Jerusalem. So we need a thousand piety. Wow, okay. That is unfortunate. Um, this should also be the Kingdom of Arabia. So if we can incorporate this man into our butthole, then we should be able to um, get something going here. So that'll be, what's it? Three kingdom titles total? And... Nubia, we might be able to do a series of... Oh, they're tributaries. Huh. But yeah, we might be able to do a series of Holy Wars. And um, just swallow up all this territory and then form another kingdom. And then there's also these guys. Hmm. We can only do conquest wars for the time being. 
This man, we should be able to hopefully... Oh, oh he's a body. Interesting. And the Abbasids. Um, can I vassalize the Caliph? How can I steal the Caliphate from this guy? Um, besides conquering all of his titles. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Because I would really like to be able to form the Kingdom of Iraq. It's not a very big kingdom, and it's particularly rich, so this would be uh, ripe for the plucking. Otherwise, I guess we can try for Africa, but that's fairly expansive, and this guy's fairly powerful. Wow, I didn't realize how powerful we were. But I'd say let's go ahead and release some tributaries, except we'll be losing prestige. Ah, oh, man, really? Okay, then I think we're just gonna have to go for Holy Wars. Yeah, let's not worry about the um, releasing of tributaries right now, and then just try to uh, gain some territory. So we need to go all the way down here. Hmm. Invite a claimant to the Caliphate. Press his claim, revoke his titles until he's unlanded, recreate the Caliphate. Oh! Really? Okay. Um, didn't realize that there were claimants to the Caliphate. Uh. So far, none right now. I guess we can try to maybe get someone from the um, line of succession to uh, to do that. Possibly. Ah, this guy is in uh, line to inherit. But, um, hmm. This is going to be interesting. And we're not even, um, what's that? Uh, we're not even Saeed. So, yeah, we have a lot of stuff that's working against us right now. But... Should be fine. Let's see if we can get our husbando assassinated. I think it's going to be a little difficult to find um, people to... Oh, maybe I should have started off with the uh, seduction focus so that I can get the support to murder my husband. Hmm. Because we could arrange for a divorce, but we need to be rich. I see. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just give this a try. If we need to restart, then we'll just restart. And we'll go ahead and get ourselves a court physician. You've sent messengers and scouts out in all directions to scour the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residence in your court. Word should reach you shortly if they manage to find a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring back a Quacksalver. And what else do we need to do? Go on a Hajj to Mecca. Uh, that's gonna cost us 163 bucks? Wow! That's a lot of money. Good grief. But I think I should give away uh, Asyut as well as Oswan. Or should we hold on to these places? Hmm... Well, considering that the trade route goes through here, maybe we'll hold on to this and then give away Sinai instead. Yeah... A queen will not travel like a pauper. I mean... <laughs> no, but still... <laughs> we should learn to be humble, no? Good grief. But this is a long-term plan. For now, you should focus on proper marriage, a good successor, stabilizing the realm, etc. Yeah, fuck humility. <laughs> Fair enough, okay. Fair enough. Alright, so Sinai has four counties. And let's see. Hajj is good for piety. You can convert earlier to Myophysite. Uh Holy Wars are also good for piety. Right! And I don't know why the bot has considered the term Hajj as a... What? <laughs> is my bot Islamophobic? I don't understand. Why did it censor out Hajj? What in the world? <laughs> what the fuck, bot? You dumbass. Unbelievable. Seems like it, yeah. <laughs> Crazy ass stupid, um... What's it, uh... Islamophobic bot. Wow. Good job, Twitch. Good job. Alright, um... But yeah, let's give away Sinai. Unless... Yeah, the technology in Oswan is much better than that in uh, Sinai, so... We'll definitely do it this way. Can we get ourselves a content man by any chance? Uh, I guess they don't really need to be of our culture. It would be nice. But, um... Hmm... I see. Wait, what's my culture now? We are Armenian. Really? I think we should try to change our uh, culture over to Egyptian whenever possible. But, um, okay. Well, let's go ahead and... Where was Content McGee? Where the fuck did he go? Oh, there he is. Alright. 
Abdul Azim. I'm gonna give you the county of, wait, the capital of Sinai is actually Farama. Okay, fine. I guess we'll give him Farama then. Uh, Farama, Farama. There we go. Fantastic. And the rest of these dudes do not, in fact, need to be content. It would be nice, but it's not the end of the world. All right, sir, you can take the county of Sinai. Fantastic. And this dude, you can take El Arish, followed by... Uh, I guess we can go with the arbitrary dude, but nah, let's do this properly. And the Duchy of Sinai we cannot create because we are broke as a joke. Fantastic. Okay, and the Bektashi order already exists. I forgot to check the date. <laughs> That's the first thing I should be doing is checking the date. But at least I got the counselors um, kind of set up uh, a little bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and switch our Spy Master over to this guy because our current Spy Master is grossly incompetent. And I guess we can have you performing charity in Cairo for the time being. Um, maybe we can actually fabricate a claim on the Caliphate by uh, this method. Of course, if we do this, then we'd have to um, wait until they get the claim on the county first and then eventually possibly the uh, thing. But I don't know if it's even possible to fabricate a claim on the Caliphate. Mm, I'm not entirely sure. You know what? Let's give it a try. See if it works. If not, then lesson learned, right? Or so they say. Okay, so we have Petra. Um, we also have the Great Pyramid of Khufu and the Lighthouse of Alexandria in our territory. Fantastic. Hmm. You know what? I think we'll actually be able to make a lot of money, so let's go ahead and... Wait. Shoot. Huh. Let me just let the time pass, see if that updates anything. It did not. Gotcha. So we're going to need to give away a lot more territory, unfortunately. Ah, shoot. I would really rather not give away Oswan. But I believe Damieta might be a better uh, fit for me right now because it's all coastal and um, whatnot. As my Fezai, can you create the Kingdom of Jerusalem? That would be a third one for the challenge. Uh, possibly? I'm not entirely sure what the stipulations are for the decision to create the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Or... I think for us to be able to create this, we just need to be Christian, if I'm not mistaken. So I think my Fizzite should work. So if we can get enough piety, I'd, be, uh, I'd like to be able to do an invasion CB. And he should be fairly easy to curb stomp because he's not got a lot of uh, troops. And there aren't a ton of Christians around him who would be able to support him. So we should be off the hook there. But okay, I'm sorry. I also have to give these places away. Uh, Asiut. I will give to... Ooh, Strongman McGee. Wait, that's supposed to be the capital, right? Okay, fine. So, oops, sorry. Not genius, but content. Oh, okay. I guess we'll go with this guy. Asiut is yours. Enjoy. And, of course, my husband will be extra unhappy. Oh, wait. Oh, it's because he doesn't have the Duchy of Asiut. I see. Right, next up is Oswan. So that's another three counties. Wow. Man. Our max domain size is terrible. Is it because we only have one duchy? I have no duchies. That could be one of the explanations, actually. Hmm. Okay. Uh, then that's unfortunately got my hands kind of tied up a little bit. Damn. Damn, damn, damnity damn. What's the capital for Oswan? Oswan, of course. Oops. Sorry, I don't know why I even thought that. Uh, let's get Uwes here to take the county of Oswan, followed by any old bastard. Of my culture, of course. Okay, dude, you can take that. Thank you. And what else? Kena? Uh, let's go with this dude. And is that it? I believe that is. Okay. Mm, still grossly over the domain limit. All right, um, then I think we're just going to have to wait until we have enough money to be able to create some duchy titles, and hopefully that'll increase our uh, domain size. I suppose we can actually just borrow money from the Jewish money lenders too. So we'll do that. 
get ourselves the Hajj to Mecca. You've started to prepare for yourself for going on a pilgrimage to Mecca. Soon you will humble yourself and travel in a group with others to fulfill one of the five pillars of Islam. Wait, humble myself? And that cost me 163 buckaronis? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. That shit ain't humble. Fine. Let's start off by creating the Duchy of Cairo. Thank you. Has that increased my domain size at all? It has not. Fantastic. Ugh, man, that sucks. On the plus side, we have an amazing court physician. Holy shit. Your messengers tell you of a mercenary band that arrived in Cairo. Along with them is the field surgeon Tigran, known for his ability to rapidly amputate limbs and save the lives of gravely wounded soldiers. Despite the reputation of mercenaries being often being greedy, hiring him seems to be comparatively cheap. All right, sure. Um, comparatively cheap, but it's gonna cost me 245 buckaronis. Are you kidding me? Well, we do make a lot of money um per turn, so or per month rather. So we'll be broke for a little bit, but that's fine. And my kinsman is my regent. Unfortunate. I guess. Oh, that's why it's so bad. Ay ay ay, I give volt. <laughs> it seems as if we've managed to get lost here in the desert. One of the humble servants seems as if he might know the right way. So I can lose one health or I can become trusting. Well, thankfully I did not become trusting. Uh, as you stop for camp one evening, you notice that an old man in poor clothing has made camp at the same place. He smells of boiled cabbages as a lot of old people often do. The man offers and offers to tell you a hadith um, he has if you can spare him some bread. Let me give you some money that I do not have. There you go. The old man says, as the Holy Quran says, you desire the attractions of this world, but Allah desires the next world for you. And yes, you prefer the life of this world, but the next world is better and more lasting. Fantastic. My lord, I don't think we have cabbages in the desert. Which is the mystery here. Like... This old man who sits by our camp, uninvited, smells of cabbages, but no cabbages to be seen. As you arrive in Mecca, you change from your traveling clothes and dress in the white Iram clothing. This cloth, this cloth is intended to make everyone appear the same, as in the eyes of Allah. Uh, there is no difference between a queen and a pauper. So we say, let me go ahead and curb stomp this pauper. Oh, I can't because I'm bankrupt. Sure. You are now at the Kaaba itself and performing the Tawaf or Tawaf or whatever. Seven circuits, you will walk around the black stone. Each time you complete a circuit, you point to the stone and say, In the name of Allah, Allah is great, Allah is great, Allah is great, and praise be to Allah. Uh, I would rather become humble for the extra piety. Thank you very much. When Abraham left Mina, Mina and was brought down to Al Aqaba, the devil appeared on him or to him. Gabriel said to him, pelt him, so Abraham threw uh, several stones at him uh, so that he disappeared from him. Apparently that's how you banish demons, or the devil rather, by pelting with stones, or seven stones rather. Gotta say, bit of a uh, bitch uh, devil. The uh, demons and devils that I know often don't um, disappear just, for, just by getting pelted. As you travel back home from Mecca, you encounter a very poor village where even the richest seem to starve. Are you kidding me? Come on! I just got out of debt. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, we should also set ourselves up a little uh, trade post in Cairo. I completely forgot about that. I have returned to my court as a changed man. A changed man. Fantastic. Looks like we got ourselves a uh, sex change while on, uh, on our Hajj. Great. I am truly humbled before Allah. And I know that all men are equal and can live in harmony with each other. I know this as a man. As a very, very masculine man. Yes. I know all about that stuff. Um. Okay, so I think for now we should probably not release tributaries and whatnot. Thankfully, the Hajj actually gave me some uh, stewardship, which is pretty cool. I was informed... The heathen pope has declared a will to bring a crusade to your doorsteps. As a fellow Sunni, I pledge to st Oh no! Why? I can't believe you've done this. Okay, so I guess we have a crusade coming our way. Rip in peace! Fuck me! 
All right, well, thankfully, it seems a lot of people are willing to uh, defend me, so... Oof. That is some big oofage right there. Uh, today I found a scented letter lying on my pillow. The Piers Count Kerboga is quite s uh, smitten with me. Let's see. Mm, we could encourage this. But I don't actually want to sleep with him, so we'll just um, get him to like me a little bit more. Oh wait, no, that's my opinion of him. Right. Okay, then... Let's just say that it won't ever happen and increase our sex appeal. Large merchant caravan from distant lands have arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of the night. Sure, let's do it up. Hey, Adrian, what'd you miss? Um, you can't beat the crusade at this point. You should convert ASAP to force it to go elsewhere. Didn't expect the CK2 stream. Yeah, sorry about that. I actually meant to stream this yesterday, but the weekdays, um, unfortunately, there's a lot of heavy construction going on outside, so it's kind of hard to filter out the rampant amount of noise uh, generated from the construction. So, yeah, I, I meant to say, uh, announce this a little bit sooner, but yeah, sorry about that. As evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring in a second serving. So what happens if I change my religion whilst we're being attacked? Mm, will it dick over the Christians? Because I would love to dick, dick over the Christians. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess it's going to be fairly difficult to beat back the crusade. Not impossible, though, at this amount of relative strength, because uh, they'll be landing in boats, and I'll have mo all my uh, troops ready to um, tussle, as it were. That is, assuming that I can get my stewardship issue and uh, domain size issue in order. Dawn breaks, and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift, as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language, and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty to you, his new master, shall be beyond reproach. Well, well, well. You would make a fine husbando. Yes, indeedy. Unfortunately, for some reason, we can't seem to marry men without testicles, which is, I gotta say, some hot garbage. Well, we could actually send one of these guys as a eunuch to China, and then maybe get ourselves... Something nice in return. Hmm. Let's see. So, if we send Hanri... Oh, his fertility is garbage, so I don't think he would actually make a good husband at all. That being said, though, um, his stats are fairly good, so that could be an incentive right there. And my husband's stewardship is not the worst in the world. Hmm. Or we can send ourselves the, the doctor that we just got. No, you know what? We'll go with Hanri. I'm sure we'll be able to find some dudes who are more than capable of, um, you know, handling my, uh, my Vagimter, if you know what I mean. Okay, uh, for now, I guess we'll just try to let the time pass. And the Jihad for Jerusalem. What? Why didn't you announce this sooner? What the hell, man? Well, obviously, we'll join the Jihad for Jerusalem. Sure. Wait, uh, shoot. I should probably change our capital and do the whole, um, religion flipping now, shouldn't we? Oh, wait, no, sorry, we don't need to... Oh, no, we're so close. No, wait, we're not. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. My god. Wow. Great day. Great day for, uh, not paying attention to stuff, it seems. Good grief. All right, everyone meet up in Cairo if at all possible. Go for it, kids. Uh, thankfully, it seems a lot of my troops are kind of consolidated as it is, so maybe we'll be all right. Tigran worries that the people of my realm lacks just judgment when I still haven't chosen a chief cadi to take care of all the legal matters. To ease his worry, Tigran came to me with and suggested someone who he believed would make an excellent chief cadi. Yes. The Arbitrary Man. I'm sure he would make an amazing Chief Cuddy. How about you be my Chief Cuddy? How does that sound, dude? Oh, he doesn't have the right um, education background. I see. 
unfortunate. All right, then let's see if maybe we can find someone who's a little bit better and not at all arbitrary and all that crap. Um, I guess we could go with this guy. He is just, so sure, 